Hello guys! Today I wanted to show you the correct way of applying LUTs in DaVinci Resolve 18. I know that not all of you are aware how the LUTs actually work and that they have to be applied in line with a particular color space. So I will explain this in detail in this video. I will show you how to use one of the most popular film emulations, Kodak 2383. And this is our before and after. I hope you will like it. Let's start. And this is our clip for today. I got it from Artgrid. I will leave you a link to that website below if you are interested. But now let's minimize the view. And here I've created a few serial nodes. That number doesn't really matter for now. And my clip was shot with red camera in red lock film. So first I have to convert it to Rec 709 as usual. So I will apply a color space transform onto the last node. Let's rename it maybe. I would just call it Rec 709. And obviously if your clip is already in Rec 709, you will skip this step. But I have to go to the effects. Then I will search for the color space transform. I will drop it onto my node. Then I'll pick the right input color space and the right input gamma. And I will leave the output as it is, as my timeline is already set to Rec 709. All right, let's turn off the effects. And this is the clip before and after the conversion. Now we want to apply our Kodak 2383 LUT. But first, maybe let me explain to you what Kodak 2383 is. So when films are shot on film, they make a digital scan of the film. So it gets printed onto, in this case, Kodak 2383 film print. And that's what's projected in the theaters. Now, not many movies are projected on film anymore. So the Kodak 2383 has evolved into a kind of a film look that is still one of the most commonly used print film emulations in Hollywood. Lots of great movies from the recent years like Joker or Dark Knight have been made with the Kodak 2383 film print. So it's one of the favorite film print emulations among filmmakers because of its beautiful colors, rich blacks, neutral highlights and the film style we all always expect in the cinema. So let me show you the wrong way of applying the LUT first as this is what many unexperienced Resolve users do. So let's create another serial node at the end. And now let's go here to LUTs, then Film Looks. And here we've got three Rec. 709 Kodak 2383 LUTs. They are very similar, but D55 is the warmest version and D65 is the coldest. So let's apply one of them and look what happens with the footage. The blacks are completely crushed and the whites are blown. So then what many people are trying to do is that they go here to the key and they are trying to dial the LUT down like this, which doesn't benefit in any way as well, as you can see. And this is because we've just tried to apply our LUT onto the footage converted to Rec. 709. And these LUTs are actually designed for scanned film footage. And the scanned film footage comes in the color space gamma called Cineon Film Lock. You can even check it on your own by right clicking on the LUT, then open it in Finder, then right click on the LUT again and open it with the text edit. And here you can see that the right input is a Cineon film. So let's go back and let's do everything correctly. So first we have to convert our clip again. So let's call our last node CST. Then let's go to the effects again and let's drop the color space transform onto our node. And here we'll be changing only the output gamma and we'll change it to Simeon Film Lock, as I said before. So this is before, it's Rec. 709 and after Simeon Film Lock applied. Now we can create another serial node in order to apply the LUT. So I will name it accordingly. Then I'll go here to my LUTs and I'll pick my favorite Kodak 2383 D55, which is the warmest version. And again, this is before and after applying the LUT. All right, now maybe you will think that this LUT is still too intense and you want to dial it down a bit. So another mistake that people do is that they go to the key again and they push the key output down. 
because this way we'll be going back to the cine on film lock again and we want to be able to balance the LED with Rec 709. So the way to do it correctly is to highlight the CST node and the node with a LUT on it, then right click, and then we have to create a compound node like this. So now we have these two nodes combined together basically, and now we can dial the LUT down like this, or we can completely disable it if we change our mind and we decide that we don't want to use the LUT anymore. And today, I won't be focusing on grading too much, but all other changes should be performed on the nodes before the conversion. So here we can, for example, change the exposure or balance the shot. And now, let's just see the final result full screen. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.